everyone! It's Ashley here and I have this week's Stamp Create Repeat video for your next stamp. Today I'm going to be making some cute little tags and these tags have little wobblers behind them. They're so cute so they can um, kind of shake about which is so precious. So you can see there the little wobbler and then when you flick on it, it just kind of moves back and forth which is such a cute little interactive piece. And then I also have the sentiment thank you on the back there. And then here is the other one with these cute little hedgehogs. I love this one so much. And then also I have the thank you on the back here. So I'm gonna share with you the products I use to make my little tags. I'll link them all in the description box for you so you can find them over in the Your Next Stamp store. First of all, I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. It is my favorite ink ever. And I also use the Your Next Stamp Wire Trimmers for trimming apart the dies. Then I used the super cute Your Next Stamp gumdrops. This one is the Mermaid Fun gumdrops. I love these hot pink ones. You get teal and some nice blue as well in that collection. These are the Action Wobblers, and I use the mini Action ones, so they're smaller. Um, you get 12 in a pack. They're by Hampton Art. And then I use the Doodlebug Springtime Assortment. I use the yellow and pink twine. I use two paper pads from Your Next Stamp. I use the Birthday Girl for the pink plaid paper here, or the gingham paper. And then I also use this paper pad, which is the Geometrics. I use this yellow diamond pattern here, which I thought was nice and summery. Then I use this stamp set here, which is called Hedgehogs. It is so cute. I love all the elements on it, but for the tags, I just use these cute little hedgehogs. And then I use the coordinating dies to trim those apart. And then I pulled in an older die set. This is by um, Your Next Stamp as well. It's the Open Scallop Circle die set, and it's these ones here. Um, these ones at the bottom here are the Peekaboo Poppers. So it's just these three dies, and I just used the largest sized one there for this project, and it made such a cute little tag. I love how it looks so much. It's so summery and cutesy. So I'm just gonna take that scallop die there, and I'm just cutting it out on white cardstock. This is 120 pound cardstock from Michaels. And then I'm gonna cut one out on the pink gingham and also one out on the yellow diamond paper. Now I'm just taking this stamp set and I'm going to use the black olive ink and stamp out these cute little hedgehogs. I love the detailing on it. It has really nice texture on the hedgehogs, little spikes there, it's so cute. And then I'm also going to put the thank you sentiment while I'm at it onto the back of these tags so that part is done. And I love the script for it, it's so pretty. For the coloring today, I'm going to be using my Copic markers, so I'm pulling in E18, and I'm just kind of doing a flicking motion going outwards from the hedgehogs. It has really nice dimension, and I want to keep that little bit of dimension with the texture that it has there. So I'm using E15, and then I use the E18 again just to give it some dimension. I want the kind of colors to be um, a little bit of both dark and light. And then I'm going in with the E18 and 15 on the little baby hedgehog. She is so cute with her little bow. And then I'm using E13 for the inside of the hedgehog and just going around where all the darker bits would be. So cute. And then I'm gonna go in with E11 to add a little bit lighter. I think this cute little one where there's like the mama and the baby hedgehog would be so cute for Mother's Day cards. It would also be cute for Grandmother's Day cards or just really any occasion, but I just think those would be so cute for Mother's Day. Then I used E00 just to blend that out. And I really wanted to have a nice bit of dimension, so I actually end up going back in with E13 just to give it a little bit more darkness. It just helps to really blend it out when you go back in with the darker colors. And then I'm gonna go in with E11. And you can see it really gives a better texture when you go back in like that. Then I took R20 for the pink cheeks for these little cuties. And now I'm gonna do the bow. I used RV04 and RV02. And then I'm using YG06 for the grass. And I'm just adding all the darkest bits and the green parts on the flowers as well. And then I used E triple, E double zero for the bottom part of the grass. Then I used Y35 and Y32. And then I used Y38 for the inside of the flowers. For those cute blue flowers, I used BG15 and BG10. And I went in with a little bit of BG49. Then for the purple flowers, I used V01 and V17. And I did that as well for like the handle part of the flower. And I went back in with R20 for their little ears and their little feet as well. 
and then I used RV02 and RV06 for these little flowers here. These little cuties were so easy to color up. I love them so much. And then I took my black jelly pen just to do the little eyes. And then I took my white jelly pen and I put three little dots on each of the hedgehog's cheeks. And then I put two, two little dots on the baby one. And then I also used the black jelly pen for the noses of all the little hedgehogs. So now I'm gonna take my coordinating dies and I'm just going to trim out the two that I'm gonna use for this project. And I also added two little dimensions of white with the jelly pen just to give it a little bit of accent around the outside. So I'm just taking a piece of washi tape and holding those down so they stay in place and I can run them through my die cutting machine. And I'll just show you the little reveal, so cute. Now I've got all my pieces here, so I'm just going to take this little piece here. It's the same as the other scallop, and I'm just taking my sewing scissors, and I'm going to trim around the outside to cut off that little ruffle part so that I have the middle, and it looks so cute. It's like a little pop of summer cuteness. It's like a little daisy, and it was so easy just to trim that part off. And so I did it with the pink as well, and then it just gives a nice cute little background, and it makes such a cute tag. So I'm just taking my adhesive and adhering those down, and now I'm going to take my little pieces of wobbles and I'm just going to take off the backings of them. They're adhesive so they come sticky and then you can just put it right on with the little stamped image and it's so cute. It's such a fun little interactive thing to kind of like flick it with your finger and make it wobbly. So I'm just taking off the adhesive there and then I have my cute little wobblers. Now I'm going to take some of the gumdrops and I'm just going to add those for a little bit of dimension just to fill in some of that space that was extra. So I'm taking a medium and a small of the hot pink. I love that hot pink color, it's so pretty. And then I thought I'd pop one underneath as well. I probably could have left it like that but I just popped two on the bottom as well just to give it some more color. And then I'm gonna take these pretty turquoise ones and add it onto this yellow piece here. So cute. So now I'm gonna take some of the twine and I'm just taking some in yellow and I just folded it up and then brought it through and just trimmed off so the ends are the same size and then I just did that with some of the pink as well. I just love this die here. It made such a cute little tag and it was so easy to add on the little twine part. So that was my project for this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will link all the products in the description box below. I would love if you haven't if you take the time to subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now.